Donald Trump officially unveiled his latest exclusive golf and residential community late last week on Southern California's Palos Verdes Peninsula. I was there to speak with the billionaire real estate mogul. Trump National Golf Club, branded as the most expensive golf course ever built at over $300 million, is the centerpiece of Trump's development at Rancho Palos Verdes, just 30 minutes from downtown Los Angeles. Spreading out over 300 lush acres of prime Pacific Coast shoreline, every hole on the course has a view of the ocean. There are island greens, cascading waterfalls ranging from 15 to over 50 feet, lakes nestled inside the rolling hills, and glistening white marble bunkers. The 18th hole on the course took an astonishing $64 million to build and is the most expensive golf hole ever constructed. And befitting the course, it was only natural that Trump and members of his entourage arrived in a Rolls-Royce Phantom to greet the media and roughly 175 guests at the tent reception near the clubhouse. Inside the tent, a huge buffet of hors d'oeuvres and servers with the best and various scotches and wines greeted the invitees. Trump was enthusiastic in his praise of his team that made the two and a half miles of shoreline into a dream come true. I didn't want to have a great course, and then you look up and you see houses that are not of the quality. So I actually went overboard with the houses, and I'm very proud that I did. Trump was at his best, smiling for photos, making sure to compliment every member of his team, and then heading out to survey the other impressive part of his community, the homes now under construction. The model home that you see behind me here at Rancho Palos Verdes is one of 50 that will be constructed by Trump here at the estates at Trump National Golf Club. This, combined with the 300 million plus golf course, makes this an exceptional development. Construction has just begun on the homes that will follow in the tradition of the model home. Five of them have already been sold, ranging from five million up to 20 million dollars apiece. Trump pointed out that instead of employing custom builders to design the individual homes, he used his own staff to do the architecture for each individually ranging from Spanish, Tuscan, and Mediterranean to Greek, Roman, and French. As you look through the model home, you see the trademark Trump stamp, rich marbles, fine woods, and a classical look that has a true European flair, even extending into the gardens with their beautiful water fountains. I had a chance to speak with Trump one-on-one, -on -one, and he seemed to refute the idea that high-end homes may be harder to sell today. Well, the only thing that will affect the sale of homes will be interest rates. And we have a new man that replaced Alan Greenspan, and so far he seems to be doing the wrong thing. Uh, he seems to be liking to raise, he's having fun raising interest rates. The fact is that if interest rates go up, then the housing market will be affected. One thing seems certain. Trump will continue to give his opinion on any hikes in the Fed's interest rate. And you can be assured that the real estate world will be listening to his every word.